name is Kelly Kelso, and today I'm going to show you how to add in Blogger your Twitter feed so that your most current tweets show up on the page. So to do that, I'm going to add a gadget over here on my sidebar. I'm going to do that by going to Design, and then I'm going to click under or over here on Layout, and from the layout I can add gadgets to any different region that I want to. I'm going to add mine to my sidebar, so I'm going to scroll down here. Um, I'm going to click on Add a Gadget, and my window will open up. Uh, for this one, we're going to move beyond the basics, where there are just only a list of 28, to More Gadgets. Under More Gadgets, there are quite a few, 905 now, that you can look through. So to find this one, I'm going to click on, or I'm going to type in Twitter, in the search box and I'm going to click on search just to narrow down what I'm looking for. Now I only have 13. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and I notice that a company named Power has a Twitter feed that I can add in. So I'm going to click the add button and here I can rename this if I want. So I'm going to put here Kelso's Twitter feed and notice that there are directions here if you don't want to have to come back and look at uh, the video to find these directions. Once you're here, there are a set of directions that you can look at. Click on Save. And now Kelso's Twitter feed is listed. Because this is a very long Twitter feed, I mean, the Twitter feed is going to give uh, quite a few of your tweets. I don't want this to be at the very top because I want to move this all the way down, probably to the bottom, so that that list is populated down there at the bottom and uh, my visitors will still be able to find the inf other information I want them to be able to see. I'm going to click on Save Arrangement and then I'm going to click on View Blog. And now I can scroll all the way down here to the bottom and it says Kelso's Twitter feed. And it will take just a minute for it to populate. But now I need to edit this and I can see that my tweets are going to show up down the side here but I need to edit so you notice that there are gears and if I click on the gears then it will pull up a box where I can go in and I can edit this information first of all uh, we have some options here of how we want this to look there are several different uh, ways uh, options that you have. Here you can uh, decide on the font. I'm just going to leave mine with the clean font. And you can select the color. Um, I see the background of mine really matches more the orange color here at the bottom. So I want mine to match and so I'm going to apply uh, that new color. It says this will override the current content. I'm going to say OK because I want that uh, to go in. And I can see on the background here that the color has changed so that it blends more with what's on my page. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to content. So we're going to have several things that we can look at. Uh, the feed options. Uh, this is who we're following and I want this to follow me. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to type in my Twitter name and it's going to go find me there. There I am. I can see that my Twitter feed has now populated, um, and then I'm going. I could and I could add additional feeds here if I wanted, but I'm just going to leave that there. I'm going to click on Save Changes, and then I can look at the number of tweets. Right now, it's showing five tweets. So if I wanted actually to show ten tweets, I could move this up to ten tweets, uh, realizing that this is going to lengthen my page quite a bit uh, when I do that, but I uh, can put 10 tweets if I want, or I could bring it back down, maybe say six tweets, six of the latest tweets. I'm going to save those changes. And then I look at my feed title. Right now it says at power or plugins. So I'm going to click there, and I actually want this to say at Kelso K. I'm going to save those changes, and I can automatically see here in the back that everything is in. Um, I have the Twitter feed. So now, as people are looking at my blog and they're looking through, uh, they
they can either go here to my Twitter page or they can scroll down to the bottom and actually see the latest 